Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. This week's video is a little bit of an update vlog. It's been once again forever since I feel like I last sat down to film. I'm gonna start with some mail though because um, I did a road trip, came home to a bunch of packages that I think are photography related. There's a lot of books and zines here, so maybe I'll start with one of these. This one comes from a good buddy, Jake Inez. I met up with him in California recently, which you'll see in a future video, but this is his zine, I think. The zine is called Super Bloom by Jake Inez. It comes with a nice little dried up flower. It says on the first page that this body of work is based on the abundant growth of flowers in the spring. The next package is from Photodom. He makes some really cool photography related uh, gear. I ordered a shirt from him, um, but I definitely, I don't know, wow, this is a tote bag? That says shoot film, look at that. Oh my gosh. He put way more stuff in here than I ordered, which is very kind of him. Here's the shirt though, NYPD car on fire. That's one of his images. Super cool. Look at this. How cute is that? A little Mamiya RZ67 pin. That's so awesome. There's a little Photodom lens cloth. That's super cool. A lighter that has the Kodak logo and says Kush. And then he makes these keychains out of old film canisters. These are super funny. I love that these are a nice way to use old film canisters. This next one came from Satanta Books. I have no idea what this is. Tape is just stronger in the UK. This looks like a little zine. He's been doing a series of zines with different photographers. And this one says Margaret Duro. So for some context, this comes from Satanta Books who published Maria Lax's book. He's a book publisher in the UK. Um, and he's been doing this series of zines and he's been sending me these copies, which is super nice. So this was the first one. And this is the second awesome little zine design. It closes with these magnets. And I'm not sure the frequency of these, but I'll give you a quick flip through so you can get an idea of sort of the work that you can expect in these zines. Definitely a cool series to follow along with. Cool to have the first two, so thank you, Keith. This last package comes from Neil McDiarmid. This is something that I ordered ages ago. Oh, look at that. A little handwritten note. This is his new book called Shore. The other book I have of Neil's is Southwestern. I've been a huge fan of his work for a long time. So when I saw that Neil was Look who's walking across my keyboard right now. What do you have to say for yourself? This one's called Shore, and I haven't looked through it because this is a mail time segment. Let's talk about this inside cover. That's super cool. It says Shore photographs from the Essex coast. Neil's photos are always super colorful, nostalgic, and a lot of the times very funny. So I'll give you a quick little flip through of this book. I love his work. And from what I can tell, this book is no exception. Neil is somebody who's put out quite a lot of books, I think, through his years of 
being a photographer, which is definitely a very cool thing to see. I love people making books of their work and Neil has put out maybe four or five at this point. I don't have the other ones, unfortunately. If anyone wants to sell me a copy, please let me know. Very cool to add this one to the collection. Thank you, Neil, for making that book. Let's get back to it because this was an update video. So I think we should get into some updating. I'll talk a little bit about what's been going on. There's been two road trips that I've taken recently. One was with my friends Roman and Joe. That was uh, pretty far across America. We did quite a lot of different places. We didn't really film too much, but there's a lot of photos from that trip that I think I'll share in a future video in maybe a week or two here. Um, it was super cool being with two different photographers on a road trip like this and just making images together. We all shoot very differently, but at the same time, we also all sort of like similar subjects. So really interesting going on a road trip with these two guys and spending a lot of time together in a car, just taking pictures. The other road trip I did recently was with my girlfriend, Allison, and we drove from New York City to San Francisco and then back. Hello, is this Uber? <laughs> Thank you. The application was hard. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason we did that was to shoot a project with a company called Moment. And basically the project that we shot was an online workshop about the introduction to film photography. It's a two and a half hour workshop that's sort of all about the basics of film everything that I've learned through my years of shooting film, everything I learned in school as well. And so we made this two and a half hour, really in-depth workshop that really covers everything I know essentially, and a lot more. We went to different places, shot a lot of photos, and that's gonna come out soon in a form of a workshop that you can buy online, which I'm really excited about. That was quite an endeavor for me. I'll hopefully be sharing more about that soon on the channel and then the road trip that me and Allison took out there because we didn't want to fly to San Francisco with COVID. That was also its whole own experience and I did film a ton of stuff along the way. So I'll hopefully have like a road trip vlog up soon on the channel, which should probably be like a half hour video. There is just like 50 rolls worth of photos that will go into that video. So super excited about that one. So I guess at this point I would usually say expect a new video next week. And I think that's still true, but the last time I said that it wasn't true, but also I think I'm back now, which feels good. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Finally, I do wanna say thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is an incredible online website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for over three years at this point, and their incredible online templates and 24 seven customer support have made it so easy for me to get a website up and running with Squarespace. I use it to sell my zines, prints, and everything else as well. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14 day free trial of Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you Squarespace for the continued support on this channel. And thank you to you for watching. I'll see you next week. Peace.